So sanity is unique in that we're going to divide it into three categories, mobile sanity, stationary sanity, and the B-Queen crown. Why I'm separating the sanity gain like this is because certain characters are good at consistent sanity gain, while other characters are better at stations. So each category has its own set maximum. And we're gonna go ahead and look into them, but first we need to look at the items that everyone can use. The clothing items that everyone can use are the Parasaw, the Celestial Crown, the Hibernation Vest, and the Pudgy Beefalo. Combining all of these will give the player 22.65 sanity a minute, or 181 sanity a day. Keep in mind that this number does not take into account Dusk and Night Sanity Drain, so if you do try this for yourself, remember that Dusk and Night do drain sanity, lowering this number. This is what I consider mobile sanity. This is a sanity modifier that you can take with you, and as you may guess, the top of this is actually WX. Where in addition to wearing the clothing items, he can add an additional 8.75 sanity a minute by using two chorus box attachments topping off at 31.43 sanity per minute. Second place is our Dapper Maxwell being 29 sanity a minute. And third is Wirt at 26, using her pet fish. Now let's go on to stationary sanity. This is the stuff you can stack in one place and just sit on it to gain sanity. The items you can use for this primarily are the star collar staves, either the moon or the dwarf star. Wendy is actually the best at stationary sanity because by default, she can craft stations that give you sanity. What you can do is place two cisterns on separate boats and row them close to each other, making the cisterns get much closer than you normally would by crafting them. By doing this, you can stack the sanity auras of the cisterns. In addition, you can add Glomer and the Fruit Fly, and Wendy's sanity station could get you almost to 100 a minute if you're wearing all the clothing and are hugging Glomer and the Fruit Fly. But you really want to see the absolute max you can get. Well, you're going to need to play as Willow and lots of food, because the best way is through befriending pigs and bunnymen. This type of sanity, though, is very inconsistent, because it's all based on radius. You get more sanity based on how close you are to the sanity source. As you get further away, the sanity aura eventually fades away to nothingness. That's after around 10 units. So that means having 10 times the friended mobs is not that much more effective than having a more manageable amount like 50. Look at this test here. In this we have over 300 bunny men all befriended and on top of a celestial fissure plus the clothing that we're wearing. With all this we're only getting about 480 sanity a minute, which is not actually that great. You can see here the 300 bunny men versus the 30 bunny men only increase the sanity gain by about 30%. So we're not missing that much sanity from not using the max amount of bunnymen. So now let's get to building our sanity box. In addition to the bunnymen, we can spawn a whole bunch of dwarf stars, each one providing the same sanity as the bunnymen. We're going to be doing 40 here, and we're also going to make sure that all of this is over a celestial fissure, so that we can get 100 sanity during the full moon. Once we do all that, we just add our bunnymen. If we were to calculate this out, it would be 22.65 from our clothes, 1000 from the stars, and 1250 from the bunnymen. But sadly, it does not reach that. Even if we use our best candidate for this willow, we only end up getting 1140 sanity a minute, which is still 19 sanity a second, which is crazy, but we could still do much better. We could also add the celestial champion to this to get almost to 1.5k a minute, but I think actual proper usage of the sanity auras are just too diminishing. I don't think we'd be able to make it to 2,000 a minute with just default sanity sources. But that's why we go into darkness to reach it. And here comes the Bee Queen Crown. If you don't know already, the Bee Queen Crown reverses all negative sanity auras. You'll want to swap off Willow to Wolfgang here, because he is king in negative sanity auras, because he has a negative multiplier of 0.25. In order to get the max gain from the Bee Queen Crown, we're going to be using the Shadow Stalker. All versions of the Stalker have a negative 400 sanity drain, and with Wolfgang that makes it B500. You could also use the Nightmare Lights in the Ruins during the Nightmare Phase, as these lights have the biggest insanity aura of 900 by base, meaning Wolfgang loses 11,125 sanity a minute standing next to these. That's almost the same as our Willow case getting max sanity gain. We can spawn a bunch of Cave Stalkers, as many as we want, and place them all together so that each one is close to us draining 400 sanity. So now, having 10 stalkers plus the nightmare light makes Wolfgang with the Bee Queen crown 
gain 3000 sanity a minute. You can optimize this a little more, but certainly the Queen Crown is the greatest way to maximize sanity gainage. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Tara. Take care.